Welcome to Writing for IELTS. I'm Joey, and today we'll be taking a look at the essay format, specifically the body. Before going further, I recommend you watch the first part of this series where I present the task to be answered and give tips about the introduction. Just click on the video. As mentioned before, organization is the key to write a good essay. Always think about what you're going to write before doing so. For both of the bodies, let's focus again on senses, and this time we'll make it four. In the first sentence, mention one of your arguments. In the introduction, I suggest that you propose two arguments. This is a time where each of them will be analyzed. Just make sure you're not using the exact same words from the intro. For the second sentence, answer the question why. Think of one or two reasons to support your argument. Make sure they are as clear as connected and don't generate more arguments. This will just make your text confusing and out of focus. The most essential part of your text comes now. Bring relevant examples. One good example is fine for each body. You can use magazines, researches, posts, or news. Again, just make sure they are related to the topic and don't explore its intricacies much. To finish, analyze the consequences. Remember, you must continue writing about your argument. The consequence is of your argument, not exactly your example. So beware, as your text might get out of its root. With this in mind, this is how we could continue the text we started last video. First of all, it has never been easier for families to stay in touch. The argument is clear. Families have better opportunities to stay connected, which shows disagreement to the presented topic. This is because communication has become cheaper and simpler these days. What is more, the internet brings a myriad of methods to contact people anywhere, anytime. Notice that the reason for families to be more connected is the cheap and simple communication of today. The reason is precisely related to the argument and clearly answers the question, why? According to a poll conducted in colleges throughout America and published by the Family Development Institute, students chat with family members roughly every day. In this example, we have a research. This proves the point of view by gathering information from a group that is commonly away from the family, college students. Details were not really discussed here. What matters is the objectivity. Therefore, diseases related to homesickness have substantially dropped, altogether with the yearly spending on transportation for occasional visiting. Since families can be more connected today, homesickness cases dropped and family spends less money on visiting. The consequence is related to the argument, not exactly the example. Think of the argument as a very vulnerable wall that must be protected at all costs with a lot of support. Your reason, example, and consequence will make this wall stronger, noticeable, and polished. One tip to make everything cohesive is the usage of linking words. There are several out there to be used, and here are the ones used in this text. Think of how you can use a linking word in every sentence of the body of your text. For this part, only thinking of sentences, 82 words were written. If we can repeat performance in the next paragraph, at least 65% of the text will be concluded. Remember, only count sentences, not worrying about how many words we are actually writing. Following the same organization of the body 1, here is how the body 2 could be written. Pay attention to how the same elements of the organization are used. Second of all, the current situation represents a cultural revolution. More traditional families are frightened by the current changes, alleging that bonds will be broken or weakened. However, the possibility of communicating more frequently, though not face-to-face, -face, shatters such argument. For instance, smartphone applications such as WhatsApp have helped elders reach distant relatives, allaying occasional loneliness. Myths and struggles are embedded in this new communication pattern. Hence why society ought to understand its effects and embrace what is an efficient method of staying closer to the beloved ones. So that's it! Thanks for watching this video and I hope the information is useful to get you started. 
If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave a comment below, I will be answering all of them. If you wrote an essay yourself and want me to correct it, send an email to corrections4joey at gmail.com, I'll be glad to help. Remember to write at least once a week, keep on trying hard and have a good test.